Hello, my name is Roger Bell. Welcome to Melbourne Montessori School. And what are you going to show us today, Matilda? My classroom. Seeing a Montessori classroom for the first time is an eye-opening experience. On the surface, it looks like chaos. Where are the neatly arranged chairs and tables? Where is the teacher up the front teaching? But then you look a little closer and start to notice a few things. Individuals and small groups are peacefully progressing through lessons that they, in part, have selected to do at this time. This is called self-directed learning. There isn't a teacher in a Montessori classroom. There are two. The Montessori method puts a high priority on one-on-one -on -one assistance and tuition, including being more available at the right time, to guide the learning process. The classroom is very carefully set up, with many specialised pieces of equipment or materials that students are using to support their learning. At Melbourne Montessori School, we believe you can expect more from education. Because the Montessori method was developed through scientific observation, it is now more relevant than ever. Both the founders of Google, the founder of Wikipedia and the founder of Amazon all went to Montessori schools, of which there are more than 22,000 worldwide. The question every school should seek to answer is this. How do we best prepare our children for their future lives? At Melbourne Montessori School, we answer that question with the four most important lessons for our students. These are key skills that the Montessori method identifies as serving a child best in the years to come. They are practical life, self-directed learning, wider horizons and independence. Practical life. We introduce our students to new activities at a time when the brain is most sensitive to acquiring new skills. These skills are introduced very carefully with hands-on materials that address all learning styles in a very concise, structured and most of all captivating way. There is also a focus on what practical lessons can help students in their day-to-day -day lives. Children are often sold short. The capability of our young ones is far higher than we give them credit. Just because you can't reach the bench doesn't mean you can't cook. A mini kitchen in our three to six year old classes takes away the only thing stopping children from learning how to prepare food safely, also giving them a tangible basis to learn about nutrition, culture and where our food comes from. Food preparation is a huge part of our lives. Why should our children be held back from getting involved? This material is called a trinomial cube. For a three year old, it's a puzzle of shapes and colours. In the more senior classrooms, it is a physical explanation of binomial and trinomial algebra. A student's long-term experience with this material makes an abstract concept tangible. Self-directed learning. Being able to solve a problem through building the correct skills and knowledge allows you to adapt to the life you want. That's why self-directed learning is at the heart of the Montessori experience. Children in an early age Montessori classroom are guided into well-structured independent discovery and an ordered approach to learning. By cycle two, our six to nine year old class, students can book in lessons with their teachers on a subject they want to learn. Just like real life, the Montessori method never limits a student to an artificial pace of learning. A student with a particular passion for a subject can progress and feed their curiosity as quickly as they want. You might imagine it's tricky to get kids to focus on a self-motivated task on their own. School starts at 9 o'clock. It's now 8.30. Wider horizons. Part of a balanced education is an awareness of the world around you. In addition to the standard Australian curriculum, Montessori students learn extensively about the human planet and the natural world. Early age Montessori students learn all the continents of the world and by age 11, they are aware of all the countries and major cities of the world, including knowledge of the culture, climate and wildlife. This gives Montessori students context for their future discoveries and a base on which to build further understanding. We tend to accept many artificial barriers set up in traditional schools for the convenience of the institution. Melbourne Montessori School seeks to be less artificial and seeks to model real life preparing our children for the exciting lives that lie ahead of them. In a Montessori classroom, there are three age groups. This gives the younger students an opportunity to learn from the experience of their older classmates, and the older students can reinforce their own skills and knowledge by mentoring their younger peers. In this way, a Montessori school 
models of village or small family-based community with fewer artificial barriers being accidentally normalised by the school experience. Which brings us to our most important lesson, independence. From day one, Melbourne Montessori School treats your child like the adult they're going to become. Our students will come up against many challenges in their future. As mentors and parents, we can't always be there to solve problems or provide easy answers. That's why the Montessori method focuses on building the best tools for a self-determined future. School life and real life coexist in a Montessori school. Melbourne Montessori School doesn't have a constant focus on academic growth alone. We have a constant focus on giving our students the most well-balanced and well-delivered education we can. We encourage children to build independence and self-direction in a safe environment that provides every opportunity our generation can give them. Expect more from education.